News broke uh, about an hour before we went on the Clay and Buck show that Dr. Anthony Fauci was stepping down as the highest paid government employee in the United States. That is not an exaggeration. Dr. Fauci right now is the highest paid employee in the entire federal government. And I believe that Dr. Fauci should be charged with crimes. I believe he lied to Congress. I believe he has lied about uh, the gain-of-function research, what he knew, when he knew it. I believe, I've said this for a long time, that the data suggests American taxpayer dollars help to fund gain-of-research uh, uh, virus, uh, gain-of-function virus research in Wuhan, China, that led to the creation of COVID and its escape from a Chinese laboratory. That is, based on all the evidence out there, I believe that COVID was man-made and that COVID escaped from my Chinese laboratory and that our own American taxpayer dollars helped to fund it. And I believe that Dr. Fauci, who was instrumental in helping to fund gain-of-function research in China, has lied about that, done his best to cover up for it. I believe that he has committed crimes and that he should be prosecuted for both lying to Congress and lying about what he knew, when he knew it, as it pertains to the originations of COVID. So, I think it's going to take a long time for many people to get to where I am today and where I have been for much of the past two years. And that is saying this, our response to COVID is the greatest American policy failure since Vietnam. Now, there are many different angles there, that you can address that are directly failures of the American political system. But I believe that most of them directly trace themselves to Dr. Fauci, his idea of lockdowns in the first place, his idea of shutting down the country was flawed. It did nothing to make us any safer. And in fact, it actually made things much worse. And I believe over the next decade, Dr. Fauci's 81, probably going to be dead at some point in the next decade. Donald Trump, Joe Biden, many of our political leaders are very old. Most of them will either die or no longer be in any way public figures over the next decade. I believe what's going to happen. As there is more and more written about COVID and our response to it, I believe that Dr. Anthony Fauci is going to emerge in the historical record as one of the greatest failures in American history and one of the worst villains in American history. It's going to take a decade or more for all of this to wash its way through. Old school history nerd here, got my history degree in college. The historiography of COVID is going to be fascinating because it's going to require a lot of political leaders to die or step off to the st of the stage until the full truth is known, but already you are hearing a lot of people say, yeah, we never should have shut down schools. Yeah, we never should have shut down uh, the, the economy at all. We shouldn't have tried to say what essential and non-essential businesses are. We shouldn't have mandated the COVID shot. Masks made no difference. All of the things that I have been telling you for a couple of years now, all of the data and the science has been readily apparent and clear, but slowly... All of the lockdowners are starting to walk back from there. You'll kill everyone's grandma if we just have normal life in this country. And as that continues to accelerate, as there is more of an examination of the lies, as there is more of an examination of the failures, I believe that the face of America's failed COVID response, the representation of it in physical form is going to be Dr. Anthony Fauci. And he claims that he stands for science when in reality, Dr. Fauci stands for the antithesis of science because science is about challenging everything, your preconceived notions, your ideas about truth and falsehood. And Fauci has insisted on a dogmatic belief in lockdowns when they are not supported or justified by anything of a scientific nature. He has endorsed authoritarian government overreach, which has offered no safety to the vast majority of the people that are being requested to give up their freedoms, demanded to give up their freedoms. He locked down schools. 
the overwhelming victims of lockdown schools were young minority children without Wi-Fi at home, without parents who were able to continue their education, without access to anything other than remote learning, which is an oxymoron. All of the data, all of the science, all of the rigorous analysis of COVID-related responses are going to lay eventually at the feet of Anthony Fauci, and I believe a decade from now, Fauci will turn into one of the great villains of American history, and it's only going to get worse for him in the years ahead. Now, there's going to be a lot of pushback in the short term. All of Fauci's friends in science are going to come out and talk about what an amazing job he's done and how brave he was and how pro-science, and then he's 81, it's going to be dead within a decade, probably, based on the, the, t- the tables out there. As this continues, as it continues to be examined by the historical record, people with stake in the game will continue to drop off. And as this evolves, the true history of COVID will be told. And the irony here is that the people who claim that they were going to be on the right side of history are going to end up being on the wrong side of history, the lockdowners the mask, the people who shut down schools, the Dr. Fauci's of the world, the Fauciites, and the Corona Bros, as I've called them for a long time, all of them are going to be proven wrong. And the consequences for this are going to uh, have a seismic impact on trust in the CDC, in trust in experts, in trust in science in general. This is going to be one of the all-time worst decisions made in American history. 